you by now know that an enclosure can absolutely make or break your system. That's why I had my buddy at Custom Audio by JD build me this for the Solo X15. So let's check it out before we put the sub in and do some more testing. So I asked him for something simple, double baffle, nothing crazy, and he came through in the clutch. This is a really cool enclosure as you can see it's going to be up firing with a rear firing port towards the back hatch so that works best in the trooper in my experience now you can see here on every box that he does he goes ahead and puts the date the uh, airspace and the tuning so this is five cubic foot at 32 hertz got the signature there and uh, this thing is an absolute beast you can see we've got the nice rounded over port there we have the simple stain and I love the uh, I love the size of the port. I, I just love the way this box looks. And he went ahead and added a few little touches to kind of set it apart. With that being said, I think it's time to go ahead, load the sub up, and see what this thing can do inside the trooper over there. All right, today we're doing SPL testing with the Kicker L7X15. Now, in a normal video, I do a review. We do sound quality and all that. I've already done that with the L7, just the 12. So today we're going for SPL. I think when I had the 12 in here on the same amp, the best I did was 143.6. The goal is 145 or better. Above that would be better, of course, but we also got the AMM1 back there. So we'll see what kind of power it's getting and at what impedance we're rising to. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what the L715X can do versus the 12. didn't quite reach our goal of 145. One thing to note that I did not even consider, this is a dual two ohm subwoofer. The 12 I had in here was a dual one ohm model. This sub wasn't getting nearly the power that the 12 was. With that being said, I think this thing is absolutely crazy in here. I mean, it literally shakes every part of the trooper. I'm sure a much more experienced SPL guy could definitely get much more out of these than I am. Uh, this setup is not ideal. I have a 100 amp alternator here and a uh, few JY NXTs. So that's it. That's the SPL test on the Kicker L7X15. Let me know what you guys are getting with the Kicker L7s. I'd be interested to know what someone that has stayed more up to date with SPL uh, trends has to say about it. What kind of numbers are out there with the L7X right now? Who's running them in SPL? I don't always stay up on that information. But let me know in the comments below what you guys have seen numbers wise out of these, how many of them, how much power, all that stuff. I definitely could optimize this a little bit better, but it was a quick run just to see what it would do. So that's done. I hope you enjoy these kind of videos. And if you do, make sure to like this video, hit subscribe and do all the stuff that YouTube people ask you to do. Cause after all, I am one of them. So with that being said, I hope to catch every single one of you on the next video. I'm 
A big shout out to all my supporters, but a special shout out goes to the Six Star Award members El Fuego Audio, Baba, Cornut, Scott McCord, David Koslick, Scott Dielbeck, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Travis McLennan, William Berg, 2001 Monolithic, Joaquin Juarez, Old School Stereo, Living Loud with Andy, Thomas Marshall, Kevin Lautner, D. Stewart, Jesus Tires, and Bobby Burkett. You can join the team for as little as $2 a month. Get your name in the credits for as little as $3 a month. And for as little as $6 a month, you can get your name read aloud. Join me at patreon.com slash hi vega.